I'm out here uh, at an auction yard here, one of the ones we frequent around our area. Just loading up our worldly goods. Looks like a uh, shingle truck uh, rotator and uh, better than I thought it uh, appears to be uh, telescoping. There's a bunch of hydraulic spools on it actually. As you can see, there's a rotate uh, post, I'm assuming the, the telescoping post up and down, uh, boom and belt, well, they're just uh, usable spools at that point, but I uh, thought it might be handy for some kind of a project here, uh, especially to have the turntable and drive there, and uh, who knows, might have a crane or some such in the near future going on. It, uh, Seems that's how most of my projects are funded with uh, cheap parts like this. And uh, here's a W4. This thing was uh, cheaper than I thought it was going to go for, and uh, believe it or not, picked it up here. Needs needs a bunch of work. There's going to be some uh, future videos on this uh, this thing here, I'm sure. Uh, there's no choke going to the carb and things like that, but she fired right up. Still running the old six volt. Just getting everything tied down and. Uh, See how, uh, see how all this stuff pans out in future videos here. And uh, here's the other one, a little uh, Hatch Diesel. It's a 1B50 model, I believe. Looks like electric and bull start. Uh, got a plate damper with a bigger one of these in it. Thought it uh, might be handy for maybe spare parts or whatnot. If not, I'm sure I'll find something to put it on later. management uh, control lights here and whatnot. So we'll uh, test her out a little later on and see if we can't make her go. Again, I have no idea on this uh, W4. Or definitely missing the choke of rod on the car or not. Looks like somebody put uh, a newer 6 volt on here. I'm not sure why 6 volt, but uh, all the other ones I've got are all 12 volt. Uh, Say upgraded. <laughs> so they put new battery post terminals and whatnot on it. So anyway, we got it rolling on and uh, figured, hey, let me do a little video of these finds here. People wonder where you get your stuff all the time in uh, little auction yards like this.
And as we all know how some of these trips can go, I've uh, been doing pretty good on uh, trailer tires for many years, and then I've had uh, this one and uh, one other one five days ago go on me. Uh, different trailers and everything. Uh, kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, picked this up at an auction. Uh, wouldn't let me film loading it up there, so I've uh, got it up here at the shop. It's an industrial uh, tractor. It's inoperable. I'm sure uh, it's got some issues. Uh, don't plan on fixing it up. I ended up getting it for parts. I needed the tires and rims for uh, forklift. And uh, see what other parts and pieces I can use on it. These uh, tires are in okay shape for what I want to use it for. Uh, don't give those things away. So, but uh, the reason I think it's probably in pretty rough shape is we're uh, dripping water between the two uh, case halves here. And, uh, fairly substantial amount considering we uh, hauled this thing back for uh, about three hours. See whether I can use any of the transmission parts or whatnot. It's got a three cylinder Ford diesel in it. We'll try to find out what model number and everything it is. And, uh, maybe part with the loader on here. Loader's a 76. What I found kind of really neat about this is it's got a uh, Calgary tractor plate 1977 on it. Uh, I get rid of this loader, I think I'm going to keep that, hang it up in the shop there somewhere. Kind of cool little bit of history. Other than that, I uh, can't find a model number on this thing or anything else. So we will uh, see what we come up with here. Sure, it had, uh, had a backhoe on the back here. So you can see the mounts and whatnot, and the extra hydraulic lines there that nobody bothered to cap. Anyway, it looks like we're gonna have uh, some of the parts I needed. It was a uh, thing worth the buy. Probably do something with a bunch of the parts on here and uh, maybe see if the diesel itself will fire rest of it like I say really no no point with the old girl the parts are going to be going on to I think it's about a 65 uh, 1965 Ford 4000 uh, it's a diesel I guess they're pretty rare I was talking to a guy down in Ohio that collects a few of these things and uh, he's got a couple of gas ones and uh, I'm gonna end up putting those uh, tires and rims on here Obviously, save what's here, but they're uh, pretty rough shape. And I've got to do a motor job on it. You can visibly see the blow by uh, oil trickling out. The reason I need those tires and rims is everything's been just packed and slashed here. A lot of the stuff, there's welds on the other side, I think. Can't tell if there, if there is on here or not. Fairly rough shape. You can see here it's uh, just kind of been hodgepodge together. There's uh, welds and whatnot on the rim. Stuff's real tight and accurate, as you can tell with all the welding and so forth on it. It'd be nice to put the same matching tires on it. I'm not expecting a whole lot of parts to fit off that other unit, but uh, it'd be nice to get this old girl going. It'd be handy just for around the yard when the skid steer's out and about. 
be doing some uh, stuff to this hopefully in the next spring. But like most of my projects, I just acquire the parts until I can uh, get everything I need together to do it. I already have the in-frame kit sitting for it for a couple years and hunting for the rest of it. The mask needs to be redone on it as well. Somebody changed it from uh, chain to cables. That wasn't uh, original there. I believe it was supposed to be chained. A little bit of RR. Thanks for watching. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll try to keep it coming.